Hello, I'm Matthias and welcome to a new video. It's Alive, the feature so many of you were been waiting for. Theming. ImageLine created a whole new editor for program colors, which you can find in the options General tab, Select Theme or Just Theme, if we take the name at the site. Please note that this first implementation is experimental for now. This means it's not finished and ImageLine is presenting their first idea to see what people say. This means too, if you are into theming and even if you are not considered to install or use the beta version, you should do now anyway and participate actively in the further development. The link is in the description. It makes no sense to stay out of it now and complain afterwards why this or that doesn't work the way you want or need. The installation and usage of this beta will not mess with your current stable version, so you cannot lose anything by just win. So let's have a look what we got so far. I'm an absolutely noob when it comes to color adjustments and similar, so please forgive me if the results are looking rubbish. It's just for demonstration purposes and not meant to be the best color scheme of the world. There is at the moment just one theme preset, the default one FL Studio comes with, but you can populate this list of course with your own creations for the moment or download presets made by other users. There is already a dedicated forum thread for them where you can share your ideas of course as well. Later on there will be more official presets to choose from. When making your own changes, it might be a good idea to have windows open where you can see the changes you make. For example, selections, LED colors for solo, mute and option LEDs, like for example in the sampler channel. The theming window overtakes complete control when open and you cannot use anything in the background anymore, but changes are directly reflected. To save your presets, you just hit the Save Preset button down below, which opens a window for giving it a name. After having more than one preset in the list, you can switch between them by left-clicking. When a custom preset is selected or you hover with your mouse over one, in the upper right corner a button appears for deleting this preset. But not on the official one which might be true as well for future official presets. And even if you have found a way to get rid of the default preset, you should never do that you have the default starting point always at hand if you have messed up everything and want to start fresh. One click and everything is back to normal. The adjustments section is at the moment quite limited. We have just different parameters to change the overall look of all windows for color, saturation, brightness, contrast and the separate text contrast whose effect can be seen clearly with the magnet symbol here. This stuttering of the changes I did isn't coming from the video. Because the whole GUI must be re-rendered for every change, there is no fluid adjustment at the moment. Perhaps they will find a solution for this. Additionally, you can change the selection color affecting, for example, the parts here. The highlighting like here. Option LEDs like here in the sampler and the color for the steps in the Chenerex step sequencer. This last one is a biggie for me, as I always struggled in the past with a too low contrast between the even and the odd. Well, no longer. Very important, when a preset is already selected, there seem to be no way to override already created themes which is why it's underlaid in red. 
So even if the red underlay goes away when clicking into the text field, please take care to always save your changes with a new name that you don't lose any settings. There's another little bug which will be fixed for the next version that changed step sequencer colors do not change when changing custom presets. Just the default preset puts them back to normal. For this topic, there isn't anything more to show at the moment, so I will leave it like this for today. I personally wish they will make subsections for adjusting colors in the GUI separately, like an offset for example between the playlist and the mixer, title bar, channel rack or piano roll editor, like there is between the even and odd steps in the step sequencer. Let's wait and see. This was a shorter one, but I wanted to keep this as a separate video, because so many of you were constantly asking for this feature. But definitely stay tuned for the next video, as it will be about a huge surprise image line kept completely secret. Have a wonderful time and thank you for watching.